हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते वेलकम टू चाइल्ड योगीज आई होप यू गाइस आर फीलिंग वेरी गुड एंड टुडे वी आर हियर टू डू सम योगा फॉर टीन एजर्स वी आर गोइंग टू डू सम योगा एक्सरसाइजेस व्हिच आर गोइंग टू मेक यू फील वेरी रिलैक्सिंग एंड वेरी सूदिंग एंड आर गोइंग टू गिव यू अ वेरी नाइस इफेक्ट टू योर माइंड बॉडी एंड सोल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट बाई जोनिंग इन एंड फॉर दैट आई वॉन्ट यू टू सिट विथ क्रॉस लेग्स एंड यू कैन कीप योर first finger and your thumb together on your thighs and gently close your eyes and now simply focus on your breath bring your entire awareness on your breathing remember to go slow we are doing this step to zone into the class to calm down and to bring our entire awareness to our breath keep your neck tall your back straight and make sure you're completely aware about the space you are in about the things around you and your breath slowly you're going to take a deep breath in and gently exhale one more time take a deep breath in and exhale again breathe in and breathe out every time you breathe in and breathe out you are aware of each and every cell of your body getting active and calm at the same time it is very important to start with breathing because it makes our entire journey of the class very very smooth and relaxing inhale exhale this time you're going to take a deep breath in and hold your breath for 10 counts inhale and hold your breath and exhale slowly one more time inhale and hold your breath right there exhale one last time take a deep breath in hold your breath and exhale you will notice that your breath is absolutely calm now it's absolutely composed now we are going to do one nostril breathing it's also called anulom vilom just to improve the oxygen level of your body to cleanse your nasal and for this you're going to take your last finger and your thumb and you're going to inhale from one nostril
close one nostril and exhale from the other. Again, inhale. And close, exhale. You can also open your eyes in case you find this uncomfortable. You can open your eyes initially. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do this a couple of times more. Last time. And you bring your palms back to your knees. And now you will notice that your breath is absolutely calm and composed. For some of you, you might have reached long and deep breathing as well. Now slowly you can rub your palms together. We are going to start by giving some heat to our body. So we are going to gently rub our palms together and keep it on our face and slowly just rub our palms all over our body and gently you can open your eyes. So this was the breathing pattern. You can also hold for more counts in case you want if you are already doing yoga. If not, then try to hold for at least 10 counts and then exhale. Make sure that when you are inhaling, you pop out your stomach as much as you can. And when you exhale, you gently pull your stomach in. So now we are going to move to the second part. We are going to do some warm up before we start our yoga asanas. And for this, we are going to start right here while we are sitting. We are just going to keep our arms by the side and start by gently tilting the neck to one side. While doing this, you have to make sure that your breathing is continuous. You are not supposed to stop your breathing. Very good. Again. So make sure you get a nice stretch right from below your ears going on till your shoulders and other side and center interlock your fingers like this and just gently keep it below your chin and push your chin up and now come to the center you're going to take the same interlaced fingers keep it at the back of your head and you're going to gently press the back of your head down. Lovely. Let's do it again. The chin goes up and the breathing is continuous. And take the fingers at the back of your head and gently push the head down. Bring your chin to your chest. lovely okay from here we're going to start rotating our neck so we're going to start rotation and we're going to cover all the directions and make sure that you go slow because our neck is very very sensitive so make sure that you're not going fast or rushing into the movement very nice you can keep your eyes open or close however it is convenient come to the center and let's start going on the other side so we drop here start going on the other side
lovely. Keep going, keep your eyes open and keep breathing. One last time. Lovely. Okay, now we are going to work with our shoulders. We are going to take our shoulders up as we inhale and as we exhale, we are going to take it back and drop it down. Let's go again. One, two, three, four and five. We are going to reverse this movement from here. Five, four, three, two and one. Amazing. Now slowly we are going to take the shoulders up and down. Up and down. So you inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One last time. Lovely. You are going to take one arm up and on an inhalation you are going to tilt to the side, exhale and reach out to the side reach out as much as you can making sure that you have a nice stretch in the sides here and also make sure that you're not dropping your neck like this or you're not dropping here you are absolutely straight your four points are facing in the front if you want a little more stretch you can try to look up that gives you a little more stretch on the sides and now gently you're going to come back let's go on the other side why I am taking my arm here is because it's giving me more range of motion it's making sure that I have more space to stretch let's go inhale and exhale wonderful if you want more stretch you can look up else you can keep looking in front make sure you're not dropping you are absolutely straight you can also bend your elbows a little bit more to go on the side and relax let's go one more time inhale and exhale you can take your elbows down a little bit and stretch to the center and inhale exhale stretch lovely come back all right now we are going to move to our back so from here we are going to come on all our fours and we are going to warm up our spine here so this is called cat and cow pose make sure that your palms are right below your shoulder and your knees are right below the hips make sure that you are following this alignment and now keep your spine neutral so make sure it is not here or it is not here okay make sure it's not loose keep it very very neutral on a deep breath in you're going to take your tailbone towards the back of your head and make a slight arch on an exhale you're going to take your tailbone towards your nose and push the middle back up Make sure you're not stretching or I will say make sure you're not stressing your uh, middle back too much. Let the movement be very very natural. Inhale. And exhale. Wonderful. Inhale. Exhale. Remember, we are still warming up. We need to make sure that our spine is absolutely relaxed before we start the yoga asans. And inhale. Exhale. Let's do this a couple of more times. lovely and now come to the neutral spine position and from here what you can do is just take your one arm over your other arm 
and drop down make sure that your elbow is bent here and I want you to stretch your shoulders keep breathing and come to the center let's go on the other side make sure that you are stretching the shoulders completely and come back to the center wonderful from here we are going to just go into a downward facing dog so what you're going to do is you're going to curl your toes keep your knees bent and take your tailbone up lovely now from here just try to do a nice hamstring stretch by moving your legs back and forth like this and make sure that your heels are down by the end of this exercise if not if you're not able to touch your heels it's completely fine you can inhale and go up high on your toes exhale push the heels down keep doing this and you can also keep walking back and forth like this and make sure that your breathing is continuous you do not stop breathing at any point of time at this point you can start pressing the chest down make sure that your neck is not in front or not at the back it is in line with your arms so here you're getting a maximum hamstring stretch and now from here keep the knees down and just take your hips back to your heels and stay in the child pose now child pose is a restorative pose so you can stay here for a little while just to relax your muscles and now coming back to downward dog and we are slowly going to walk forward it's okay if your knees are bent it's completely fine if you can see my knees are also bent right now so i'm just going to keep my fingers on the mat and i'm going to stretch and i'm slowly going to roll up like this wonderful so now we are going to stretch the hips with hip rotation so you're going to start rotating the hips five times clockwise and five times anti clockwise lovely four and five and reverse from here five four three two and one amazing now from here you're going to gently bring your legs together and now take your knees up and try to balance you're going to try balancing here you can also move your ankles if you want in a rotation and reverse lovely and now take your one leg up behind and hold so just try to balance here and relax slowly you're going to t do the same thing on the other side so take your knee up and start ankle rotation lovely reverse now you're going to take the leg back and the arm in the front and try to balance and relax so we are done with our warm up and stretching now we are going to move to our yoga asanas and the first yoga asana that we are going to do is the tree pose and it is very very beneficial for improving your balance and the strength of your leg and for this i want you to make sure that your supporting leg that is the one leg on which you are balancing has to be very very strong all right so you're going to take your one leg up 
perfect you're going to stack it here and gently bring your palms to your heart and now if you can balance take your palms up and stretch keep breathing this also improves your stamina this also improves your focus so make sure that you guys stay here for at least 10 breaths and slowly you're going to bring the arm down and bring the leg down let's do the same thing on the other side for this again you're going to stack your leg up make sure that your hip is not going outside yeah make sure that your posture is completely straight your alignments are proper take the arm up and balance make sure that the breathing is continuous i'm again and again emphasizing on this point that the breathing should go on for the entire journey of your class now gently bring your palm down and the leg down wonderful now from here we are going to do the chair pose again the chair pose is really good for strengthening your leg and for this i'm going to move to the profile so now you need to imagine that you're going to sit on a chair all right so you're going to gently inhale take your arms up as you exhale you're going to push the hips back as if you are going to sit on the chair and keep your back straight as much as possible so make sure you're not falling down like this your back has to be straight again keep the breathing continuous let's stay here for 10 counts 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 two and one wow straighten your arm and your leg and come back to the center now we go and do the same thing on the other side inhale arms up and exhale take the hips back and imagine you're going to sit on a chair so the intensity here is really high right now and make sure you're continuously breathing Let's stay here for 10 counts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And come back to the normal. Wonderful. So in case if your thighs were shivering, that means you did a great job okay and in case if your thighs were not shivering if you were not feeling so much intensity in the legs try to see your posture make sure that you're not falling with your upper back forward or you're trying to sit on the chair and not push the knees forward okay now the third pose that we're going to do is very very simple it's called the eagle pose and for this i want you to take your arms in front and just try to cross your arms like this okay now if you're not able to do this you can also just join the back of your palms like this all right and if you have some flexibility you can cross your arms well done keep your arms here and now take your one leg and cross it over the other and gently bend down wonderful for a good balance you can keep looking in front very nice keep your back straight and five four three two and one relax and let's do the same thing on the other side so you're going to again cross your arm and cross your one leg over the other and bend good let's stay here for five four three two and one and relax all right now very simple we are going to open up our shoulders doing cat cow face so what we are going to do is i'm going to turn behind you're going to take your arms like this and 
you're going to try touch your fingers now in case if you're not able to if your fingers are here it's completely fine just keep practicing this keep practicing and one day you're going to reach here where you're able to catch hold of your fingers wonderful let's stay here for a little while and now relax and do the same thing on the other side again keep the breathing continuous and make sure you're really opening and stretching your shoulders and relax wonderful so these were the set of initial standing asanas that we did now we are also going to try and do some more asanas which are going to stretch your back your side as well as your hamstrings so now we are going to do the triangle pose and for this pose i want you to step in wide parallel which means that your legs are going to be absolutely straight toes pointing forward and now uh, i want you to twist your foot to one side right take your arms on shoulder level make sure that your arms are not dropping they are on shoulder level stomach is in neck is tall and take a deep breath in and just try to reach the side wall pushing the hip on the outer side and on an exhale you're going to gently go down drop down and look up wonderful keep looking up keep breathing if you want to go little more down you can go a little more down touch the floor otherwise wherever you are feeling comfortable you might as well just stay here and breathe so this gives a very very nice stretch to the sides and to the hamstrings and gently i want you to come back straight and now bring your foot straight and twist the other side inhale and exhale push your hip on the outer side and reach down lovely make sure you're not dropping your shoulders sometimes it might happen that your shoulders might drop keep them back wow so i'm sure you can feel that stretch at the back of your hamstrings and now gently come back straight up lovely so this was a triangle pose and now we are going to move to the warrior poses warrior poses are supposed to make your legs super 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 strong they are supposed to strengthen your legs strengthen your spine improve your posture and your alignment to a great extent so we are going to start with warrior one and for this we are going to step slightly in front yes in a profile position and we are going to bring our palms to a heart and take our one leg back like this now here make sure that your front knee does not go ahead of your toe okay make sure that it is 90 degree and the back leg is absolutely straight and your hip is going down stomach is not out it's pulled in and now bring your palms to your chest and slowly take your arms up lovely let's stay here you can feel that your legs are shivering and this is really really good for improving your balance as well keep breathing lovely you can stay here for 5 breaths for 10 breaths as long as you want and gently bring your palms down and bring your back leg to the front wow that was a great stretch to the legs and now we are going to do the same thing on the other side again make sure that your knees are not going after your toes they are 90 degree back leg is straight palms to your heart and gently take your palms up keep pushing the hip down 
you will feel that your inner thighs and your outer thighs are really burning right now and slowly i want you to come back to the center wonderful now from here we are going to perform warrior number 2 and for this we are going to come in the same position as the triangle and we are gently going to twist our foot to the other side arms will be straight but instead of going down now we are simply going to bend our knees okay so let's do it again make sure there is some gap in between your legs arms right at shoulder level inhale bend your knee again to 90 degree and try to gaze on the side make sure that your arm is not coming down some of few it might come down make sure you have to constantly think of pulling your arms up to the shoulder level and reaching out from all the sides keep that gaze on and slowly come back to the center lovely let's do the same thing on the other side we're going to twist inhale and exhale again make sure that your arm is shoulder level your knees 90 degree and stretch now as the warrior pose suggests you need to keep your gaze very very strong and very very sharp keep breathing and come back to the center lovely let's try and repeat the same thing so inhale and exhale your arms might pain so it's completely fine you can bring it down count till 1 to 3 and go back up again and center on the other side inhale and exhale make sure that you're keeping your practice very very slow the slower you will be the more your body is going to benefit remember that and now we are going to do warrior number 3 and this is one of the most interesting yoga poses because you get to stretch you get to balance at the same time yes so for this i want you standing right in between the mat in the center of your mat bring your palms in front of your chest and now i want you to slowly take your leg up focus on one point bring the entire awareness to your breath exhale take your palms forward and your legs back and try to balance you're going to try balancing here reach out completely and slowly you're going to come back the same way you went and bring your leg down in this yoga pose you can balance for as long as you want initially let's try to balance here for five counts let's do the same thing on the other side and for this i'm going to turn take the leg up on an inhale exhale going forward and back at the same time stretch your leg completely keep breathing and now gently you're going to bring your legs and your palms together and bring it down lovely so this was really really good if you really want to improve your balance and now we are going to do standing forward bend or you may also call it as standing forward fold and for this you're going to stand right in the center take your arms up on an inhale and on an exhale you're going to gently go forward pushing the chest ahead keeping a flat back spine as flat as possible bring your arms down 
lovely now if your arms are here it's completely fine you don't have to stress yourself okay if you can go more down well and well and fine and now the more you exhale it's going to benefit you okay so make sure that you're not stopping the breath lovely try to push your weight to the front amazing very very nice and inhale bring your palms on your thighs and make a flat back look up and now exhale again go down pushing the chest towards your knees and head down again inhale and exhale wonderful stay down for as long as you can if you can catch hold of your big toe very nice if you cannot if you are here it's completely fine just try to stay here and breathe okay relax your head and hold for 5 breaths and now we are going to take our arms forward and our legs back into downward facing dog lovely so we are back to this asana make sure that you are spreading out the shoulder blades and again start by walking back and forth lovely make sure that your breathing is on and push your chest forward and breathe now from here bring your knees down and you come back to cat and cow position and from here let's start doing a few rounds of cat and cow to stretch our spine so let's go inhale and exhale inhale exhale again inhale exhale and come back to the neutral spine and from here take your hips back to your heels and go forward into the child pose and relax So now we have come to the Vajrasan. We are going to sit here and make sure that our hips are to the heels, our back is straight. And from here we are just going to relax for a few seconds before we go into our backward stretching. Breathing is the answer to all the relaxation exercises so make sure whenever you want to relax you just sit in vajrasan or your child pose or in any comfortable position and breathe wonderful now from here we are going to go forward into a plank so we are going to take our one leg back other leg back and make sure that we are here in a plank let's hold here and gently bring the knee down and the chest down keeping the hips up and chin to the floor 
and from here gently scoop into a cobra stretch wonderful so you will feel that your back has a really really nice arch right now and slowly try to come down lovely now i want you to keep your arms as cactus right by the side and gently inhale and take your forehead up one by one you're going to push up and stay here in the half cobra keep breathing you will notice that you have a lot of intensity in your arms as well right now and gently come down this time you're going to go up and extend your arms all the way make sure that there is not enough gap in your legs and they're not too closed they are hip width apart keep breathing and gently come down now you can take your arms adjacent to your chest keep your elbows inside inhale and stretch up lovely you so you are going to feel a lot of stretch right now in your lower back area make sure that your shoulders are not up your elbows are not locked your shoulders are relaxed and your elbows are soft and drop down very gently let's do this for the last time inhale and stretch back you can look at eye level or you can also relax your neck behind and now from here curl your toes and go into a downward facing dog wonderful so you will notice that your hamstring is already stretched now it's a little bit more flexible than how you started the class in the beginning now again gently go into a plank and drop into a cobra stretch wonderful let's go again downward dog and plank and gently drop down into a cobra stretch relax your feet let's do this last two times downward dog plank and going into a cobra stretch and last time and plank going into a cobra stretch for the final time and going back into the child pose and relaxing your spine wonderful from here come to the cat and cow stretch and now very gently you're going to take your one leg up and drop it forward like this into a half pigeon pose let's stay here and now from here make sure that your back leg is absolutely straight it is an active stretch just stay here because this is for your inner thigh stretching hold on keep your spine straight for some of you you will feel like you're falling forward so it's all right completely fine just try to keep your both palms down and push your rib cage up and back as much as possible
and let's take our legs back into downward dog try the same thing with the other leg going forward wonderful let's hold here for some time make sure that the back leg is in active stretch rib cage is tall and lifted up wonderful from here you're going to gently bring your legs back keep the knees down and you're going to turn to the center of your mat so we are done with the yoga asanas and i hope you're feeling really really good now we are going to move to the cool down to make sure that all the muscles that you have stretched we are going to bring them into a relaxing state right now so for this i want you to come into a butterfly pose it is super easy so you're going to join your both put together and make sure that you're holding your toes like this you make a clasp and you keep winging your thighs wonderful so this is a very very nice stretch and i recommend this butterfly pose to be done after every class that you do after every stretching or if you are you know working out you have to have to do this posture because it completely relaxes your leg muscles and now with this i want you to gently bring your neck to the side in case if you have moved your neck slightly faster in any of the exercises we are just going to heal it right now and again tilt it to one side and to the other side and bring your neck to the center wonderful now you're going to stretch your leg outside and make sure that your toes and your knees are in a straight line and i just simply want you to work on your point and flex so we are going to point our toes down like this and then we are going to flex and bring the toes towards each other if you can see right now my toes are going towards each other yes and then they go away yeah so we point and flex point and flex so if there is any stress which is here in your ankles it's going to come right off make sure that you're breathing and your rib cage is straight so those of you who are sitting like this make sure that your rib cage is absolutely straight right now Let's keep doing this a couple of more times. Lovely. Now bring your leg to the flex position. Hold your big toe from one side. Inhale and exhale. Go for a nice side stretch. You do not have to go all the way down. Make sure that till the time you're getting a nice stretch here on your sides, you are good to go. Keep breathing again. as i mentioned in the beginning you can look up if you need a really nice and more challenging side stretch and to the center and other side very nice okay good now you're going to bend one leg we are going to do spinal twist bring the other leg to the other side and now you're going to gently take your arms on the opposite side and twist keep breathing and twist as much as you can Initially you might face a little problem in twisting so it's completely fine even if you are here it's all right if you can take your arms all the way to the other side then it will be really really good and coming back to the center let's do the same thing on the other side
twist as much as you can and come back to the center so guys we are done with the cool down and now we're just going to end the session with breathing and for this I want you to come into Gyan Mudra and keep it on your lap and keep your ribcage straight gently close your eyes and now you're again going to shift your entire awareness on your breath Try to feel each and every breath going in and out of your body right now. And because you have just done so many yoga asanas, you have become aware of your balance. You are even more aware of your breath at the last stage of the class. Keep your breathing absolutely relaxed and normal. Try to focus on all the muscles that you have worked on, on all the asanas that you have worked on today. If you have worked on balancing and if you feel that your legs faced an intense stretch today or if you feel that your spine faced an intense stretch today, Try to focus in that area, inhale, exhale, give breath to that area and heal that part yourself. Gently keep breathing. Now try to bring your awareness in between your eyebrows. Try to focus in between your eyebrows. And try to imagine a light, white and bright light in front of your eyes. Slowly as you're exhaling, imagine that the light is spreading inside your body very quickly. It's reaching all your body parts and healing it one by one. Let's take three long and deep breaths in. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and now you will notice that you're feeling absolutely calm composed and relaxed each and every body part is completely relaxed your breath is long and deep keep a subtle smile on your face and bring your palms together and give them a gentle rub and now slowly bring your palms on your eyes and your face and Rub the palms on all your body parts. Try to give the heat that you have just generated. And now slowly you're going to open your eyes. Thank you so much everyone. I hope that you enjoyed the session. Thank you so much.